It's an interesting question. Are bigger muscles always better? Not necessarily. To work hard, muscles need oxygen and need to release microscopic waste. In fact, they increase in size during exercise because blood is streaming through them via blood vessels. But when the level of stress is extreme, muscles can't be supplied quickly enough. Fatigue hits hard. It'll be a very strong male, very muscular, and he'll assume he's gonna just do pull-ups and he's just gonna crank through every, every move and he's just gonna grab the holds and grab the next big one. By halfway up the pitch, his forearms are all swollen with uh, deoxygenated blood and he can't hold on any longer and gives up. It's not always how big your muscles are, it's how you use what you've got. This may give women an advantage over men when it comes to some physical challenges. Climbing isn't about how big your muscles are. It's about strength to weight ratio for one. You only need to take your own body weight and I've seen that it's actually better to have smaller muscles. One theory even suggests smaller muscles might actually be more resistant to tiring out. Look deep to the smallest pipes funneling oxygen carrying red blood cells through the muscles capillaries. Muscles flexing a lot suffer for it. The contraction crushes capillaries. Muscles become oxygen starved. Waste builds up. But women with smaller muscles exert less force. Their capillaries are crushed less. Translation, muscle endurance. It has brought Julie to the moment of truth, the overhang. What you have to do is actually you have to grab a hold and pull away from it. So you're leaning way out into the, the open space. What you naturally would want to do is sort of cling closely to the rock, but you have to pull out. Julie is 150 feet up. In her fight against gravity, it looks like she's just using her arm muscles. Think again. Because you're using your larger back muscles here, you actually feel more secure than you would if you were clinging very tightly. So that sort of motion of pulling out on something and then really committing to that void and then bringing yourself up is really a wonderful movement. How you get to the top is more important than getting to the top, actually. I like knowing that I was in a very precarious situation where a lot of people would be scared and I'm not. So I seek that out.